Hi, I'm Bill Robertson, Business Development Manager for Digital Alert Systems, and welcome to the NAB 2011 Pick Hit from Radio Magazine, which is our new multiplayer device. One of the things that we looked at in the EAS market is when more streams become available, more stations are doing different and, and multiple streams, had to come up with a way in which we could share products. And many times customers would want to share a single encoder decoder as they were launching their, their various channels and the different streams for EAS. The problem was fundamentally a single EAS encoder decoder only had one playhead. That limitation meant that you either had to fire all the streams simultaneously or you had to fire them sequentially, one after the other after the other. That created a very long problem because if the things were two minutes in length, by the time you got to the second, third, and fourth station, you were many minutes away from when the original alert came in. Really a problem if you've got a very, very important alert like a tornado warning. You want to get that on air as soon as possible. So what we did is looked at that problem and tried to figure out a better way in which we could accomplish that, and that was the introduction of the multiplayer, which is the Radio Magazine Pick Hit 2011 award winner. We're very proud of that. The thing that the multiplayer does is it expands the number of playheads. So instead of being limited to a single playhead, we now expand that to four additional playheads, meaning that we can get a total of five individual streams, and these are discrete playbacks inside of three rack units. What you see here is our DASDEC 2 host unit, which is the main processing unit, coupled with the multiplayer on top. So in these three rack units, I can have up to five absolutely discrete encoder decoders, different FIPS codes, different EAS codes, and every one of them can fire individually, which means instead of having a simultaneous or having a sequential, we can now have staggered start times, one after the other after the other, separated by 10 seconds, separated by 50 seconds, it doesn't matter. So one of the nice things that we also did with the multiplayer is provide the opportunity for different signal types. You can have all AES signals, you can have mono signals, or you can bank them together for analog pairs. I can have two AESs or two uh, analog stereo balanced. All of that is available through a series of XLR cables and connections on the back. We also provide on each individual channel two contact closures in and two contact closures out. Again, so you can trigger at individual station times if you want to interface it with your existing automation system, if you want to do different things based on push button effects, all of those are available. Also, one of the key elements of an EAS is the EAN, the master, and therefore we provide a master input which is a bus across all of them. When they go to air, they all switch to that simultaneous channel no matter what. When you have an EAN, bam, they all go together. So, taking into account the, the issues that you had in the past with having to try to manage multiple switches, multiple things happen at different times, hold off conditions, or really using the type of logic with a bunch of GPIs and GPOs makes the multiplayer very, very nice. The nice thing about the multiplayer too is it's network based. They don't have to co-locate. You can take this box, you can move it to another location that makes it better suited to your studio environment. So, we're very, very proud of our association in the EAS market, very proud of our award in the Radio Magazine Pick Hit, and obviously very proud of our products with the DASDEC and the multiplayer. Thank you very much.